I'm back on this hub job again. This grease seal on this hub is uh, leaking. I'm going to take the axle out, take these bolts out right here, have a drain pan underneath because oil is going to come out. If oil doesn't come out, then I'm probably low on oil. So the only way to keep oil from coming out is to jack up this side only, but I got the brakes off on the other side too, so it's jacked up. If I jacked up one side only, jacked it up pretty high, then the oil won't run out. So anyway, just a little trick. Comes in handy if you're only doing one side. I'm going to take these off, these bolts right here, these nuts. The axle is out, now it's time to take these lock rings out of here and there's a tab right here that I have to fold down, it's a keeper and it's a, a plate that has ears on it that goes in between two locking rings and once the rings are adjusted into place then you, those locking nuts, then you uh, fold the ear up on that ring to make sure those nuts don't loose and start coming off. This has a key that lines up in this groove over here that keeps those nuts. And the reason why you lock these two nuts together with this keyed plate here is because those nuts do not get tied down very, they don't get tightened down very tight. And I'm setting these down in a pan the same way I'm taking them off so they will go back on the same way. And 
Now we gotta clean it up and put the new seal in. Okay. I got it cleaned up enough to put the new seal on it. Got that bore cleaned out pretty nice in there. And I'm gonna wipe just a little bit of oil on that. Get that moist. Actually, I'm wiping diesel on it because I'm going to use that for cleaning the hub when I'm finished. I don't need to make a video of cleaning the hub, but uh, the sun's going down quickly, and I want to finish this if I can. Lay that seal on there like that. Put the lip side facing in because we're trying to keep the grease in, not out. Check and see which side's going down and which side's not. Getting a nice, nice solid sound all the way around so I know we're in there now. Yes, indeed. Now we have to clean this mating surface for that seal before we put it back together. After getting the heavy stuff scraped off with a knife, I'm going to use a little brake cleaner. To get down to the metal. Then I'm going to get some memory cloth and clean this up nice and 
clean that rust off of there so I have a, a clean mating surface for that seal. Otherwise that, that rust will tear up the new seal. I just got done cleaning this up with a piece of 180. Now I'm going to stick a piece of 400 on there and polish up a little smoother this uh, mating surface for the seal. I'll probably spend about 10 minutes doing that. I'm going to put some oil on that. I'm just going to reach inside here with my finger, get some oil and wipe that because it's getting too dark to finish the video. I'll have to finish it tomorrow. And I don't want this to rust up overnight. It shouldn't rust up overnight, but put a little oil on it, then I know it won't. I'm back on this thing the next day, Sunday. I'm gonna play hooky from church so I can finish this. And I'm gonna clean it up. With some gasoline and a brush. If I don't clean it, then I won't know if I have a problem again until it's too late. But if it's clean and dry, when I put it back together, then just the slightest little leak, I'll be able to see it starting already. Got it all cleaned up pretty good with gasoline. Now I'm going to wipe off the, the worst of the wet gasoline and oil with the paper towel and then I'll clean it some more with brake cleaner. Try to keep the brake cleaner out of the bearing area because this is an oil dryer. Just a thin coat, just to wet that surface so that the seal doesn't burn up. And this is axle, this is the kind of oil that would be inside the differential. Normally I'd just reach in the drain pan that I was working out of and get some grease out of that, but that's kind of awkward to do since it rained last night and there's a lot of water in it and I also used it for a cleaning pan. Well, that's how that goes. Now we'll put the bearings back in there in the same order that we took them off. Bearing is still nice and wet. There's no gritty stuff or dirt or nothing on it, so it has plenty of oil on that. Put that in there like so. And then this top ring, 
This one has a knob on it that I can hammer on if I can get it at a good side where I can reach it, but you don't want to hammer on it very much and, and change the shape of it. This doesn't get tightened down real tight anyway. That's good. Now I'm going to put this ring on any one of these holes that lines up has a keyway in it. Put that on the key. And whichever one of these lines up closest to that keyway. Looks like it's going to be this one right here. And then we'll put this one that has these ears on it. Line that keyway up. And then the top lock ring goes on. Now this gets tightened down a bit on that As long as it's moving easily, then keep tightening it a little bit. That's good. Let me pull a couple of these ears up. Whichever two look like it's going to be square with it. Looks like these two here. Got to clean this gasket off of there. And this is an aluminum hub, so if you use a metal, a sharp metal scraper, you got to be careful that you don't cut the aluminum. But even a slight cut's really not going to hurt anything because we're going to put it back with just silicone glue. We're not going to use any new gasket. I have that hub cleaned off, the gasket cleaned off of that hub, now I'm cleaning the axle. With an almost razor sharp scraper, just a little putty knife like this, I buy the thicker ones so that I could put a nice sharp edge on them on the grinder. Now for the brake cleaner. It has to be perfectly clean and dry. Well, at least perfectly dry. No oil. We're going to put silicone glue on it. Now this tube of glue is uh, ultra blue. Permatex ultra blue silicone. It's not the one that smells like vinegar. It's the one smells kind of like putty. It dries harder. Uh, the cap is cracked and leaks so every time I use it I just gotta squeeze it all up to the front and then poke another hole in it.
because I'm too tight to throw it away. it around in there a little bit to find the, the splines on the gears inside the differential. There we go, we found them. Push it on in there. And the washers and the nuts. And we're done. <laughs>